Here we are at the field by Ivanhoe, Minnesota, doing some fall soil testing today. We had Gabe Brown out earlier and uh, he showed us how to do it, uh, what to look for. Uh, we're going to be running some different tests um, that measure more of the biological activity in the soil. The uh, Haney test, the PLFA, wet aggregate stability, total nutrient digestion, and a CEC test. And we're sending those all to Regen Ag Lab in Nebraska. Um, Gabe and the Understanding Ag team did a study a few years back of all the labs and that lab has shown the most consistency. Actually, all the other labs showed an unacceptable amount of inconsistency, uh, variance of 92%. So it's really the only place uh, they recommend to have these sorts of tests done. Uh, the Haney test is gonna show us uh, soil respiration, uh, water extractable organic carbon, which is another measure of organic matter. And it's also going to show us the organic nutrients available in the in the soil um, whereas conventional tests often only focus on the inorganic nutrients available uh, the plfa is a phospholipid fatty acid test and that tells us the bacteria to fungal mixture by measuring the the cells uh, that are contained within the soil so these bacteria and fungus uh, have their, their cells are made of fat um, so we can tell how much life there is in the soil and what the, the ratio is. Um, also on the Haney test we'll get soil respiration which is a good indicator of active microbial activity it, because the bacteria and the fungi are exhaling CO2 similar to um, the way that we do and it's a good indication of how active and how much life is in the soil. So we're establishing a baseline on these fields so that we can go forward and um, create some good metrics on, on how our management practices are affecting the biology in the soil. The wet aggregate stability test is going to measure the aggregation in the soil which is uh, held together by biological glues and fungus that grows in the soil and that's really important for water infiltration so that the water uh, in, a, in a heavy rain event the water gets into the soil and doesn't run off um, it'll also determine how much erosion you might get in a rain event um, because with better aggregate stability in that soil, it's going to hold together a lot better. Um, and that's that aggregation is created by organic matter as well. Um, so, pretty excited to see that. The total di uh, nutrient digestion test um, is going to be really interesting. That is something you really only need to run once on a field, but it will tell you everything that that field is made up of in that six inch top layer. Um, so it'll tell you how much of every element. And what you often find is you have thousands of pounds of nutrients already available in your soil. You just need the biology working to get it to the plants. Um, and then the CEC test, CEC test, I believe measures the charge of the ions in the soil. I'm not very familiar with that test yet. Um, so we're looking forward to working with the guys at Understanding Egg um, and Gabe to uh, see how we can use the, the charge of the, uh, the soil to determine our management practices and um, give us an understanding of where we are today. So let's go do a, take a soil sample. So 
Understanding Ag's protocol for doing the, the tests, uh, collecting the samples, is going out in the field and finding 20 spots that are kind of neutral. You don't want to be in the very bottom. You don't want to be in a spot that maybe you had a chemical spill. You don't want to be on a very high, uh, anything that's out of ordinary for the field in general. So we're looking for really neutral spots, um, things that aren't too high traffic. So I'm going to be going across this field um, looking for you know side hills or f level areas. Um, and I'm gonna take 20 spadefuls. So I'm gonna do a five at a time. And I'm gonna mix them into this pail. So I'm gonna take five spades, mix them around, and then I'm going to put uh, that sample in this bag. Just a plain uh, Ziploc bag that I've already marked with the name of the field. This one's west of the yard, Don's west of the yard. Um, I might double bag this. Then I'm gonna put them in a box and send them overnight to the lab because we're measuring life and um, we don't want to expose these samples to too much direct sunlight, temperature extremes that could decrease that life. And, we want to get it to the lab as quick as possible so we have an idea of what is actually living today out in this field. So let's see how good of a sample we can get. I'm going to pull that up. I'm going to put that in the pail. We just had a half inch of rain, so this stuff is uh, kind of gummy. I'm gonna kind of mix up these clods here. Just break that up a little bit. Didn't see any worms in that one. So that's something else I'm looking for out here. First time I've been out in this this bean field. That moisture is we've had a lot of rain in the last uh, few weeks, so it's it's gotten in here. But you can see we don't have a lot of aggregation um, to hold that soil together. Um, it crumbles pretty pretty quick. There's not a lot of fungi or anything. No pore space to allow that water to infiltrate. This is a conventional uh, corn bean rotation. So I got five spadefuls in here and I, every time I put in here, I tried to mix it together and break up the clods. So we're getting a good sample across the whole field. I'm just gonna dump this out right here and mix it a little bit more. Look for a good sample that can constitutes a good mix. And I'm gonna just put a little bit in the bag. I want to fill this three quarters full with all 20 samples, so I'm only gonna put a little bit in here. And then go on to the next one before shipping them in.